So good morning, happy Resurrection Sunday, um, happy Easter. Um, I decided to um, bring you guys along for Sunday Glam, which I haven't done in so long. Um, and it's probably just gonna be really quick, just eyes and you know, um, some of the products that I absolutely love to um, use on my face on Sundays because Sundays are just like my long days with my family and my friends. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have the metal matte palette, this is what we're gonna kind of play out of up today, especially for the eyes. And you know, I'm probably gonna, yes, blue glitter. I've been wanting to do something with that. So um, yeah, let's see what we come so up with. So the first with. shade we're gonna go in with out of, um, I love this palette by the way. Um, I had hoped that this would not be limited edition because it is one of my favorites. Um, it's just, you get all those, um, these metal, uh, what are they called? Oh my God, what are those things called? The metal, no, 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 no. Anyway, you get all those shimmery shadows from Kat Von D and you get all her mattes and she has a really great matte formula. So we're gonna start off with the color Suede. We're starting off with suede. And you know I go just a little bit above my crease when I'm laying down my first shade. The next shade I'm gonna pick up is Friend, just like a little um, like peach shade. And I'm just gonna layer that right into the crease and on top because I kinda wanna go in with velvet, but I want velvet to kinda, either velvet or oak, probably oak, to kinda soften up those darker shades. So that's why I'm going in with fringe. So I'm going to pick up oak on a fluffy brush because I want to kind of take it right here in the crease. But let's see if I can make it crease worthy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want it to make it too, too harsh because we're going to go in with the blue. Yeah, so laying the fringe down actually helps. Is actually helping me make that fringe, making oak more of a good transition color. Okay. I am having to um, take a little time and keep blending this one out. So I'm blending and pressing it upwards, basically, because I wanted to go a little bit up into the shade that we laid down before that, but I don't want this to be harsh. Okay, so that's why, um, yeah, I'm just going to take my time and blend it. So make sure if you want to kind of, you know, take out those harsh little edges that we create sometimes when we're transitioning down, go back in with your blending color, which is fringe for me today. So I'm just going to take that over just to kind of keep everything soft. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of the black that's in there called Jet. Just a little bit. And I'm actually going to create me a little soft line right here right above or really right here in the crease because i'm gonna lay down a black base for the blue so i'm just kind of making it soft before i do that gonna take the urban decay um slide on glide on eye pencil and i'm just gonna um kind of create the space for the blue I'm gonna blend it out. Should you, this, this is only gonna make the blue pop on your eye once you lay it down. Sorry. Make sure you blend it out. So you see I didn't have to take this harsher black way up into my, that's why I like to lay down the, um, the little black first to kind of make sure everything kind of softens, they soft up that way in my crease. Not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but yeah, I'm gonna get this blended out. Now that that's all blended, I'm gonna pick up, pick up the cliche. I can't speak, velour. On your Mac 242, it's a great, um, packing brush. I'm going to cover the whole eyelid with this color. So for cleanup, I'm just going to take a clean blending brush with nothing on it and just kind of clean up the top half of um, 
of this with uh, by blending out the blue into uh, where we stopped it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do just a pop of glitter in the center, so um, that's why I practiced on that at first. So, yeah, we're just gonna keep it more halo-ish. And I'm just taking a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer, which is really, really good. Um, if you can find it, it's at Ulta. It always seems to be sold out, so if you see, you better grab your tube. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm just creating me a little center for the glitter to adhere to see i don't have a little bit of fallout um but yeah so let's take a little bit dump it in your top okay i gotta get some out <laughs> and then just uh, i'm using the same brush to pick up the glitter hold on dude. hold on y'all i didn't come out okay and there we have some out on that brush and i'm just gonna place it in the center like a little halo it's like a little spotlight of that particular make that little eyeshadow pop okay. just make sure you press it in and there you have it your eyes should look a little something like this I think it's kind of pretty so for brow bone, I'm just going to mix a little bit of suede and bone just to give me a little bit of a highlight. Okay, you guys, my sister called me for our Sunday morning talk and that's normally what I do instead of um, filming. But anyway, really quick, I use the... Um, Lancome 24 hour tints. I do. I love this foundation. Um, and for concealer, I just use my NARS in, um, in caramel. So I'm getting ready to set my face. Um, um, I did try some, I did try these lashes, which they were so easy to put on today. I don't know. I guess the lashes just want to cooperate with me. Fall Mink by Ardell. Have you guys seen these? They're actually kind of cute. Yay. Okay, so we're gonna um set I'm gonna set my face and then I'll probably be back for uh I'll show you what else I use and maybe final look. Okay. One of the prettiest bronzers for um darker skin ladies I think is from Bobby Brown and it's in um deep four. Um uh, let's put it back here. Yeah, this is a part of my um you guys already know for contouring and everything. I use this NARS palette in Mal what is this? Melina. <laughs> And this is simply gorgeous to me because I'm able to um, use the the um, darker shade to contour with and then I go in with the lighter shade to kind of clean up. So for cheeks, I'm just going to take, um, I still don't know these shades, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to take that um, mauve brown. I think I just really been enjoying the way it kind of pulls everything together and when I say like you gonna need a lot of this like um look at this and it's just giving a beautiful finish to the face yay for highlight we're gonna go in with bronze glow from um Bobby Brown I rarely get to um use this one because I be forgetting about it <laughs> but it gives a pretty, like, I want to have a good glow, but not necessarily be, ooh, the little stripe went astray right there. Where's my, oh, take my blush brush to kind of fix that a little bit. But, yeah, see how it gives that great little when you turn to the side type of, um, that's pretty. So, yeah, we're going to stick with that for today. A little bit more up here. I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Deep Slip Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. Let's just see how this goes. Trying to make sure I didn't get it on my eyes. Okay. Let that 
We're gonna fan it. As I already know, my holy grail our waterline eyeliner is from Marc Jacobs. I did add them on um, Instagram to ask them to make a nude, um, and they liked the comment. So let's see if we can get a nude out of this uh, particular brand. <laughs> so hey, you guys, this is the final look for me today. Um, I like how everything has turned out. I really like my blue eye <laughs> to kind of go with my pink for Easter. So um, let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you all so much for joining me for um, Glam Sunday. And as I said before, happy Resurrection Day. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye.